right, hey guys, today I'm going to be going over a brief uh, and quick tutorial on how to remove games for Windows Live and the border from Fallout 3. Alright, so first things first, you want to head to your Steam library, locate Fallout 3, right click here, hit properties, local files, and you're going to want to verify the integrity of the game cache. This will basically replace all the missing files that you have for Fallout 3. Alright, so that's going to take about a minute to download any missing files that you have. Now that we're done with that, what you're going to do is head to the actual uh, directory for Fallout 3. Now I have Fallout 3 Gotti, yours just might say Fallout 3, but it's going to be located in the same place, which is x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 3. Alright, so now that we're here, you're going to have a folder here, which is going to go along the lines of GFW Live. Basically what this is, is uh, containing all the files of Games for Windows Live and possibly your DLC depending on how your format is from Steam. So since I have Gotti, it was actually located in here, all of my uh, DLC stuff. So what you're going to want to do is move over all these assets, these are all the DLC assets, from Windows Live, which is going to be located in here, into data. Just throw it right in there. Alright, so now that we have that done, you're going to go ahead and right click on it and delete GFW Live from your Fallout 3 directory. That basically deletes all the other remaining assets from games for when they're live. Alright, so now that we're done with that, you're going to want to boot up the game. Alright, here we go. Alright, so what you want to do from here is options, uh, aspect ratio and resolution, must match your screen, a mode, windowed off, vertical sync on, hit OK, boot up the game. Alright, so as you can see already that the game booted up in about less than 3 seconds. Um, this is due to the fact that Windows Live is now disabled. It does not have to go through the EXEs and initialization processes of GFW Live. Alright, but as you can see, we still do have this uh, border on our game. I'm going to show you how to remove this once we get in the game. Alright guys, here we are at the main menu of Fallout 3, and simply what you're going to need to do here to get rid of this border is hit left, uh, left alt and tab. There you go, it should automatically bring up the game for itself again. Alright, here we are at full resolution, correct aspect ratio, and we are windowless. So now we have the game at um, true full screen, and uh, Game for Windows Live is completely disabled. Alright guys, well that concludes this quick and brief tutorial on how to remove uh, Games for Windows Live from Fallout 3 and get rid of the border. Uh, leave a like and subscribe and thank you for watching.